Welcome back to the Purple Swordfish Show. I am Alex, aka Purple Swordfish, and today we're taking a look at the Tentacle. Yeah, it's that new smartphone accessory that you might have heard a little bit about. Um, I actually came across this device when in a viral video was seen by my wife. She sent it to me and she said, this is something that I think you might be able to use for YouTube. It looks like a cool product, and I gotta be honest with you, when I watched the video, I said, I really want one of these. I did some research on it. I came in a little bit too late for the Kickstarter. I wasn't able to get in on that. Um, and they weren't taking orders if you weren't part of the Kickstarter at that time. However, I did see that they were taking orders just recently, put one in. Uh, it took me a while to get this, but it is finally here. It took me about a week and a half to get this. I paid for two days shipping. I thought I was going to have it in two days. It just it didn't work out that way, guys. Um, but I will say this. I contacted their customer support. They could not have been nicer. So I'm going to go ahead, unbox it here, take a quick look at it, give you guys some first impressions. And then the rest of this video is just going to be me going over, testing the device, um, just seeing how it works. I guess I'll just use it for a week. Uh, try to document that and give you guys a final thumbs up or thumbs down whether I would recommend the product. Before I get into this, I want to be really clear. I bought this with my own money. This is not a review product. I'm not being paid to put this product on my channel in any way. All this is just my opinion on it as a consumer who bought this with their hard-earned money. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, open this up. So it comes in this bag. Um, my camera keeps, I, I guess, because my lighting's pretty high and this envelope's completely white, um, it's going to go ahead and, and jump with the lighting like that. But anyway, let's open this up, see what it looks like. So inside you get, oh, look at this. It's got uh, some type of manual here. It says there's something sucky inside. I, I like that. Um, they they really like to use the play on words in their marketing, and I think that's kind of cool. So, oh man, there is a ton of information in here. Um, it's got, I mean, like right here, it's got some instructions on how to. Oh geez, there we go. It's got some instructions on how to use the device. Uh, it's got legal documentation. It's got. Look at this, they've even got artwork in here. I hope that's gonna focus in. Yeah, that's focused in. So um, it's got artwork. I mean, just, wow, all kinds of stuff in here. And uh, it's even got some practical, look at this. I am impressed with how much documentation this is, just because a lot of it is just, you know, marketing, right? But even this page right here, I'll try to get this to focus as well. It gives you some ideas of how you could use this device. Like you see right here in the um, lower corner where it shows like you could ball this thing up, put it in your pocket. And that's kind of why I went with this device over something like a Gorillapod because I thought a Gorillapod is going to be a little bit more clunky to move around. Um, this is conceivably something that I could ball up. That's what really uh, appealed to me was it was something that I could kind of ball up and put in my back pocket or front pocket. Um, so you got the documentation in there. And then without further ado, here's what you really paid for. It is the tentacle device so it comes shrink wrapped or uh, not really shrink wrapped it's in this little bag here and um let's take it out i will say initially it's bigger than i expected um insert your uh 12 year old humor joke there but yeah it is much bigger than i expected i thought it would be a little bit smaller i'm not saying that it's a bad thing um i'm actually pretty pleased with the size of it uh, so I, I just realized I have it down here and, uh, I'm just fiddling with it down here without the webcam, but yeah, you can see here it's, it's pretty large. Um, I'll put my, let's just put my hand up next to it. I have probably about average size hands and you can see this is pretty large. Each tentacle, uh, tentacle or tentacle, whatever you want to say. And then like here, you know, like, like it says in the instructions, it's pretty flexible right out of the box. I'm trying to get this on camera, but I, I realize it's going to be kind of hard to do that. I'm recording this on a webcam, by the way, so, uh, you know, don't sue me. But this is it in a ball, right? I mean, like, this is something I could definitely see just fitting in my pocket because it's it's handheld. So um, that's really neat. And then, as I said, it's really malleable. Like, as you can see in the instructions, there's a lot of things where it says, hey, you know, like you could like make a loop right here, right? And then you could wrap it around something and have it sticking off this way. I, I'm really impressed with how flexible this is. This is more flexible than I thought it would be right out of the box. Um, I kind of wonder how much it's gonna maintain that flexibility. And then in addition to that, 
Um, I don't know if I can pop it off here because I don't have something to pry at this with. But right here, another thing that I thought was int interesting about this device, right here, if you pop this off, I believe it's a two and a half millimeter uh, adapter that you could use. So like if you had, um, I don't know, like a camera, a camcorder, um, a lot of those use, a t I, I believe it's 2.5 millimeter. If I'm wrong, I'll put it up on the screen, but you can basically take this off and you can use that uh, to, to mount a camera to it. So um, you could use it conceivably as like a tripod like this. So now, moment of truth, the big question that I had about this device is I use an iPhone X, right? Nothing fancy. And I have a case on it. I have a spiking case. Um, I'm real big about having a case on my phone. I absolutely have to have one because I know the minute I take it off and I take it somewhere, I will end up dropping it. So I was wondering, you know, like I know it'll stick to the iPhone itself. So right now what I'm going to do, even though I just said I don't take it out of the case, I'm inside my house. So I, I feel like I feel like I'm safe. I'm in a safe place. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to stick it in here and uh, stick it in here. What am I talking about? OK, I'm going to just use two suction cups, right? Um, I have not cleaned it. I know that you're supposed to, you're supposed to press it real firm and it's supposed to just stick right on. I guess I could have used three suction cups and I don't know, I'm looking at it, but I'm actually pulling on it. Okay. There we go. It came off. Okay. So it like, I had to really put a decent amount of force into it. Now, right here, I'm, I'm really pushing it on. I got three, three pods on it. Okay. Now my question is not only will this stick as I'm wobbling around, right? My question is, will this stick over time? So like, let's just say I was out and about and I'm out in the hot sun cause I live here in Florida and I'm just going to jiggle it here on camera. Well, and I mean, it's, it's, just, it's not coming off and I'm, I'm kind of, I'm not pulling as hard as I can. Cause if I pull as hard as I can, it's going to pop like that. Right. But like, I'm giving it a couple, probably a couple pounds of pressure, right? As I'm pulling here. And I mean, I have to keep pulling for it to come off. So I'm going to put it back on here and you can kind of hear the air coming out of each pocket. But my question, and this is going to be part of the video is if I were to put this on, right. And just leave it like this for, I don't know, half an hour to an hour. Will it stay on? Cause it, it stays on if I jiggle it here. But that's going to be the real question in all of this is, is how long does this last? But, um, as I said, you know, it's a pretty cool device. And like right here, if I were vlogging, I could easily just kind of hold it out like this. And that's a lot easier than holding the phone itself. Cause you don't have to worry about blocking the camera, uh, with one of your thumbs. Cause believe me, I've been the guy that does that. Now let's take a look and see how it does it stick as well to the case because I'm popping my case back on here. And for some reason, Siri thought I was talking to her. So popping the case back on, um, unfortunately, because of the way my case is structured and most iPhone cases, they have this hole right here. I think Apple has some kind of deal in place where you have to have that exposed for branding purposes. Very smart on Apple's part, I guess. But nevertheless, um, you know, you, you can't put all three on there like I just did. So we're only going to be able to put two on this thing. So I'm going to put two on. And I, this is the real test for me. Will it work with this case? Because like I said, I would not take this phone outside and not use this case. I know I'll drop it. Um, it's just it's just my luck. That's just how I am. OK, so I've got it on here. And this is on a soft touch case. The back of this case uh, to me feels like soft touch. So I'm, I'm jiggling it. I'm trying not to. This probably looks really funny. Out of context, this looks really weird. Like I'm watching myself on the webcam right now. This, this looks bizarre. Yeah. You know, it's, it's impressive. Um, it does say in here, I, I could be wrong. Let me double check. Okay, so right here, it actually says the first bullet point in the instructions is clean both surfaces before suctioning. Any dust or other particles will affect suction power. 
um, suction only clean smooth surfaces so you know I'm impressed I didn't know if it was gonna stick to this and it's been on here for a little bit now and it's still not coming off um, which tells me that if I I mean I, even as I'm repositioning it's still not popping off so that tells me incidentally it's not gonna happen if I were on pavement I feel like I could trust this thing in fact I think it might be sticking a little bit better to this <laughs> than it was um, the actual glass on the back of my phone because that actually might be a little bit dirtier because it's been in a case that has more dust on it, more grease buildup, whatever you want to call it. So um, nice, satisfying pop as you pull it off. Um, you know, and here you can even see, I'll try to get it as close as possible, but you can see it leaves some marks on there. I mean, this thing was really stuck on there. So um, right out of the gate, first question, like I said, um, out of the gate was, will this work with a phone case? Um, and it passes that test, uh, you know, so it works without a phone case, works with a phone case. Um, as I said, I'm using the Spigen soft touch. Uh, it's got a soft touch back to it. It's like the, it's hard rubber, but it's, it's kind of like, I don't know, they put a finish on it. It feels like soft touch to me, but nevertheless, it works with that case. Your results may vary, um, but I didn't even clean it and it stuck pretty well. I imagine that if I were to clean this thing, it would stick even better. So uh, with that being said, let's try some other surfaces. So the rest of this video is generally going to be me sticking this to other surfaces and seeing how it works. One test I initially wanted to do on this was hooking this up to an iPad. I have an iPad Air 2 that this is hooked up to. It is hooked onto my glass dining room table, if you will. And uh, dining room table is relatively clean. Didn't clean it right before application, but it's been clean since the last time it's been used. The iPad, I just broke it out of the case. Didn't clean that down. Um, it stuck to it pretty well here. I'm, I'm twisting it, uh, giving it a good amount of force. And as you can see, it is uh, holding on pretty well there. And uh, yeah, I mean, I figure if it'll take an iPad and have no problems holding an iPad, it's certainly gonna hold your phone. So that's the iPad Air 2 test on glass. All right, for the next test, I have this hooked up to my stainless steel refrigerator. I don't have many steel appliances in my house. Uh, so I had to kind of improvise here, but you can see my iPad Air 2 is hooked up and it is uh, having no issues staying on there. Um, I trust it enough to where I am on top of tile floor. I know this is not going to drop my iPad. Um, the important thing is when you apply it to make sure that you kind of hear it expel a little bit of air when it attaches. Um, and you want to try to get as many pods on there as possible because, you know, it, more is better. But uh, as you can see, I mean, this this is on there. It's, it's not moving. Okay, we have the iPad Air 2 hooked up to a wooden table. And it's, it's certainly not perfectly clean. And as you can see here, it's leaning a little bit just because of the weight and the orientation of it. But uh, as you can see, it's, it's holding on to it pretty good. Um, and I can sit here and push on it and it's gonna still stick. So uh, not as high risk as putting it over the tile, but it's still holding on to an iPad Air 2. So that tells me it'll certainly hold on to an iPhone. Okay, one more test inside the house. Have this iPad Air 2 hooked up to a quartz countertop. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's definitely on there. I'll switch right around so you guys can see. I got two pods on it and then two tentacles hooked up to the quartz. I feel confident enough in it to just let it sit here and it'll be just fine. Um, so again, no issues. Uh, this is actually one of the better surfaces that I hooked it up to in terms of the stick. Okay, and in the final test, I have my phone hooked up to a dirty, cracked Mazda Miata windshield uh, which is at a very weird angle uh, if you've ever owned a Mazda Miata you know what I'm talking about but uh, it's it's on here this is this is not a clean surface it's sticking I'm moving it around quite a bit um, putting some pressure on it and it's it's holding on so uh, quite impressive uh, you know just had to put some pressure on it and uh, yeah not a perfect surface but it certainly worked 
So some final thoughts on the tentacle. Overall, this is something that I would recommend purchasing if you are someone that wants to vlog from a smart device like a cell phone or an iPad. Initially, my main concern was, will this stick to the iPhone X both in and outside of the case? And then in addition, will it work with something like an iPad Air 2? Because quite honestly, if it'll work with that kind of a weight, it'll work with just about anything else. And it passed on all those fronts. In addition, I did kind of question how will it work on a variety of surfaces? I know glass would probably work the best, but will it work well with stainless steel, wood, a dirty windshield, you name it. We all know that you're not going to clean the surface that you stick this to every single time. It's just not realistic. People are going to want to pop it on right away. So we tested that and it passed on that front as well. The build quality on this is pretty impressive. I really thought it, it exceeded my expectations. I had pretty low expectations with a purchase price of $23 and it exceeded those. So build quality is really good. And then in terms of use case, if you're going to vlog from a cell phone or something like an iPad, I think this is going to have a lot of unique use cases that you might not get with something like a Gorillapod. Now, the same can be said the other way around, right? There might be some things with a Gorillapod that you can do that you can't do with this. But generally speaking, there are things that this offers that I don't think anything else on the market currently does. And with a purchase price of $23, I think it's a really nice introductory price. And there aren't many things on the market that beat it, if at all, in terms of just price. So earlier, I mentioned getting this a little bit later than I expected and having some issues getting tracking information from the company after ordering it, and that was an issue. I have to be completely transparent on that and honest with you. I actually came pretty much hours away from canceling my order, uh, but what I will say is when customer support did get back to me, they could not have been nicer. They've assured me that they've shored up those issues, and from what I see on social media, people aren't having that problem anymore, so I would say your experience will probably vary if you do decide to get one. Finally, I know I mentioned it earlier, but for $23, I was really satisfied with this accessory, and it's something that I'm going to use going forward in the future. The best example of how this was useful to me is I recently went to a beer festival and wanted to record some footage, but I didn't want to be the guy running around with a camera mount. So I can't tell you how cool it was to be able to do this with it and ball it up into a ball. And it took me about, what, maybe five seconds to do this, but I've got it now in a ball. I was able to put this in one of my pockets, in my shorts, regular size pockets, didn't need jumbo size cargo pants, but you can fit this comfortably in a regular size pocket. And if you need it, boom, you know, we just unfurl it here. I'm trying to look at the webcam and not at what I'm doing. But yeah, I mean, it just takes five to 10 seconds to take this out, put it away, uh, what have you. It's just a really convenient device to have, really nifty. And I got to say, when I had it stuck to my phone, people continually asked me, what is that? That looks really cool, that kind of thing. So again, for $23, really cool accessory, highly recommend it. I wasn't paid to do that. This is not a review unit or anything like that. I have no incentive to tell you to go out and buy it, but uh, check out their website. I'll have the link in the description. Um, and look for coupon codes. I use the coupon code to get a better price on this and uh, also secure some free shipping. And I think they're still doing that. So uh, make sure you use those coupon codes to get a really good deal. But definitely check out the tentacle. Gets two thumbs up. The purpleswordfish.com seal of approval, whatever you want to call it. So I uh, hope the review helped you guys out in making a purchasing decision. I didn't see many on YouTube before I did this. So I thought it might be helpful to some of you out there because uh, I know I kind of just bought this on faith and just hoped that it was good. The good news is it's not good. It's great. So uh, that's going to do it. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time on the Purple Swordfish Show.